Hello Capricorn, this is Barta from Rooster's Peacock and I am going to be doing your general reading for Fall Equinox. All right, let's see where we want to start. This is for the zodiac sign Capricorn. This is just a general reading. All right, show me Capricorn. Okay, we've got the moon. Let me get a few more cards here. Hope everybody is enjoying fall because I tell you what, it's nice. It's very nice. It was hotter in Hades here yesterday, but it is wonderful today. <laughs> Another zodiac sign that has the wheel of fortune. Okay, so these are just general readings. So, um, I told everybody when I was doing Coffee Time Tarot, which is on Facebook, um, I did a reading yesterday, and I almost did a reading just for all the zodiac signs all at once for um, the Fall Equinox reading, because everybody, every single zodiac sign is kind of going within and actually taking and evaluating, and they're kind of evaluating their, their selves, they're seeing sh the, the other side of themselves, which, which is, would be their shadow self. But they're getting ready to put and implement, um, getting ready to put ideas and thoughts into action. And I think for this group of Capricorn, you've already started. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so the first card is the moon. All right. The moon hides and illuminates things. But actually, I think with the number 18 here, and that does stand out to me, that tells me right there that actually around September 18th, you've already been thinking about this or you already started putting this into action. All right, this, this will be going out to a small group of Capricorn, okay? So anyway, what is it about? What's going to be whirling around Capricorn's head around today? Today's fall equinox, but this has been kind of whirling around your head a little bit before, but I think you're going to be taking the time. Like I said, it, it's kind of like that you've been very busy. It's showing me a lot of work, but you know what? Your work's getting ready to pay off. And it, it's almost like a um, taking a chance in the past, but you're getting ready to implement this and actually start getting the wheel of fortune is already in the upright for you as well. So even though, even through all this hard work and everything that you have been sitting here and, and you've been second guessing yourself in the past, it looks like, but you kept working. You didn't stop. You may have taken a, a few times, you know, because this is about this, this during this time of the year, especially with mercury retrograde is kind of like about your shadow self. So even if whatever you've been working on, you're actually sitting and evaluating how you work, how you work with other people. It's also watching other people and their shadow selves as well. But this one right here, you may have had, you know, for the most part, it looks to me like you have been moving forward to it. There might have been a pause, might have even been second guessing yourself about this. But you went ahead and, and we've got the seven of cups right here, which is fairy favors looking through the glass of contemplation. And to me, instantly, that tells me that you have been sitting here, you know, not just wishing, you know, it, it's kind of like, it is about, it's a dreamer card, you know, but it's, it's about, again, this is another Zodiac sign that sit here and started um, different endeavors in the past, but either it was like a giving up because it just didn't fulfill them or it was, some of you was actually was taken away. You know, it just, it, it was false starts is what I get. But this one right here with the seven of cups, do you see how there's a handkerchief over that one right there? Do you see it right here? Okay. So with this one right here, that tells me that you are getting ready to try again and you're trying it in a different way. And when you are getting ready to be, it's going to be revealed to you. Okay. It's going to be revealed to you. And, and with that handkerchief, it's just vibrant. Okay. So this time is not going to be a false start for you. And how do I know this? Because during, like I said, I almost feel like there was giving up in the past. That's what I get. Washing your hands clean, just stuff wasn't satisfying. Okay. So this has to do with work and what you, and, and whatever this is, you're going to actually enjoy it. Okay. This is actually enjoying. And there's a lot of hard, it's a lot of hard work. All right. So we've got the page of cups. There is a message coming to you. All right. And what is this message about? It, it is a message about your cup is no longer going to be empty. It's actually going to be filled up. You've been waiting on a message for something 
And I, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's not like you're at the start line anymore. You're actually just going to go for it. That's what I get. You have been putting in a lot of hard work with whatever this new endeavor is. And for some of you, it's a new endeavor. And this could be any area of your life, but it is actually bringing satisfaction. And we have the sun card here, okay? This tells me right here, this is, this is a yes. This is it. This is a time to get going on it. This is a time not to. Even if you second-guessed yourself in the past about this, this is not about giving up. There's no giving up on this one. That's what I get. Because in the end, with all the eight, eight of pentacles, Whatever it was, there's a hint for you. Do you see all these pentacles right here? Do you see the one that's underneath here he's not paying attention to, he's not working on? This could be something that you came back to that you actually started working on in the past. And this could be so this could be about self. This could be about this could be many areas of life. This could have to I've got the cups here, which could be about love. And it and we've got the wands, which is about taking action. And we've got the pentacles that's about money and uh, new beginnings. You know, that's what I'm feeling here. Okay. And in the past, I, I almost thought it was something that was hidden or, it, it, you know, you had to go by intuition. Yeah, you had to go by intuition on this one, but I really think you were second guessing yourself. But around the 18th, you really got a good taste of, yes, this is the direction I need to go in, whether it's life, love, finances. I think it's blending everything together. I, it's not just one thing. It's all of them together. Now, this is being done live on Facebook, so I will be looking over here every once in a while, making sure I'm up and going. Okay, so anyway, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's something that you most likely came back to. You might have tried, and you thought it was a false start, and you just decided not to go with it, all right? Or either that, or you got so busy working on all of your other Pentacles, you know, trying to bring that money in. So this definitely has to do with money. It does, but it also has to do with love, something you love doing, people you love. And just basically changing your life, you know, to where you're actually enjoying what you're doing. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Wands. All right, so it's definitely going back to something that you've kind of either thought about doing or you started to do it and you're like, oh, no, no, I can't. It's, it's just not going to work. Okay, this time, whatever it is. And some of you with the with the cup cards here, this could do with love as well. Like I said, I, this is a huge mix good bag right here. All right. So this is all looking like a really good direction for this group of Capricorn. We've got the Queen of Wands. All right. Now, the Queen of Wands, for some of you. Um, uh-huh. All right. This is also about with the, with the Queen of Wands. Now, there's many meanings within the Queen of Wands. Okay. But what I'm seeing is there is lions on here. And I'm seeing Leo. All right. So Leo season is what I'm hearing. And it's showing me the black cat which is getting back your spirituality, whatever your spirituality would be. Um, it's kind of like luck. Luck could be on your side. And she's holding a sunflower. Do you see the sunflower here? She's holding the sunflower. And like I said, I'm not going to tear all the meanings up in here. I'm going by intuition here. And this is telling me time of the year when you were thinking about this. And it's something you've already put into action is what it is. And it's actually going to be quite satisfying in the end, right? Okay, so we've got the sunflower, and around what time does the sunflowers pop up? This is a time of year is what I feel. Okay, this is definitely like probably in the heart of summer. And I don't feel like pulling any more out about that. Now, the Queen of Wands, um, this does usually represent a woman, so if that applies to you, um, she's on the lighter hair spectrum. But to me, it's more representing Leo season, and it's representing um, the heart of summer is what I'm getting, okay? Okay. So anyway, what it's just more of a message. And the message is, and here's sunflowers again, right? A brand new beginning, all right? Charging forward. It's just the answer is yes, yes, yes. You know you're on the right path for this. We've got the chariot card, which is moving on. It, it's literally movement. It's taking a movement, moving forward in whatever area of life this is. And like I said, this is a good mixed bag. This is love. This is Life, this is the pentacles, which has to do with your money. And it's actually taking action. It's no longer just thinking about it. It's actually putting into motion. All right. This is leading to a much happier life. And this is kind of like a, a self-evaluation time of see where you're at right now. Okay. This is the first day of fall. And this is exactly kind of for this group of Capricorn. You're just sitting back, kind of looking back. You know what? Yep. Yep. This is exactly where I need to be. All this hard work is going to be paying off and I'm going to continue to charge forward with the six of wands. All right. Do you see how that, do you see the, all the wands on the sides right there? 
And do you see that he's sitting here on his horse and he is holding one wand in his hand and it's got a wreath around it. Okay. It's not just got the leaves. It's got the wreath. Okay. You finally found that niche, whatever it is. If it has to do with business, you found that niche. If it has to do with love, then you finally found that niche with that person. Okay. But really to me, it just, it's, it's a whole good mixed bag of everything. Not it's, it's life, love, money, um, movement you may actually have to travel for this whatever this is it may it, you know that's that's what i'm getting you know a lot of the zodiac signs are getting the wheel of fortune which is your end result right here okay the wheel of fortune has been showing up for dang year i think almost every single sign that's why i almost did one huge you know i was going to do one huge reading at first for all zodiac signs just all of you because everybody is going through the almost the same thing but in different levels that's why i'm kind of glad i did it singly here the wheel of fortune here is for this group of capricorn you're already putting it into action even though there may be what you call false starts in the past or you know it ended up being crap well this right here is not at all this is actually moving in the right direction you have the sun card all the hard work you've been working on is paying off you've got the chariot card moving forward in this direction whether it's about life, love, money, I think it's everything, okay? The end result is the wheel of fortune. And with the six of wands, you're 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 no longer just sitting here. You you're taking up this wand and you're taking action. And with the queen of wands, she has that wand in her hand. She's decided that she is and male or female, she has decided that she is going to be charging forward this. She's going to pick this up and she's whatever she's been working hard on and she's going to roll with it. And that is what she's going to do. The end result is the wheel of fortune, okay? Your wheel of fortune is on the upright. Tell you what, actually, that's a really, I, that's a really good reading. Okay, so there's been a lot of doubt in the past, but that doubt's gone. All right, you may have days, you know, like I said, this is during the time where you're going to be sitting here seeing shadow sides of yourself. And actually, I think with this group of Capricorn, you actually kind of did this a little bit before everybody else. All right. Yep, in the past, you've been feeling like the Nine of Wands, beaten and battered, okay? But you see the word up there? It's called resilience. You didn't give up. In the past, you may have, um, it's an ongoing battle, fatigue. You may be tired. Whatever this is, it may have tired you out and could have just been thinking all this stuff out. But I actually see action of work. It is actually physical work that you have to put in for to get the end result of the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It took a lot of courage. Yeah, okay, the lion. Yep, strength. It took a lot of strength. Yep, yep, yep. Last stand. Maybe this is about you standing your ground and and, and going off in a new endeavor that you know is going to produce um, happiness all the way around. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not saying your whole life's just going to be a whole... It, it's, it's not... You know, before, the last sign I was seeing a lot of juggling. This is not about juggling. This is going for it. Okay, so whatever the answer is, yes, 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 yes. With the sun card, it is your go card. Okay, so you are on the right path. Let me see here. Bum, 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 bum. Let me see which cards I want to close up on that because actually, I think Capricorn may be one of the shortest readings I've done because I mean, there's not a whole bunch of extra, extra. It looks to me like Capricorn, you know, in the past you had been up in your head about this, but it's putting it into action now. Yep, yep, yep. And why? Because Cap, this group of Capricorn around the fall equinox today and through this weekend, you got motivation. Motivation. That is why, you know what, in the past you might not have had a motivation or felt motivated for whatever the tasks were in the past. But this time you are going for it. You are motivated to make this work and it's going to work. We've got join in. There may be even more than one, you know, it might not be just about you. There may be other people joining in to help you with this endeavor. And for some of you, it's a new career. Okay. So some of you, it has to do with a new career. And it's definitely going to affect your finances and the finances are going on the up, upward spectrum. All right. And it is actually, and, and some of you, it actually could have to do, see, we've got family changes family dynamics. So whatever area of life, and some of you, this is a whole mixed bag and it's a good bag. I mean, this is not, yeah, I couldn't ask for more if I had a reading. This is probably the best reading I've had so far. 
because this group of Capricorn, you've already kind of gone through the beating and bad, beating yourself up in the past and given up on stuff. This is not about giving up. New career, motivation, others joining in on this, finances, finances are on, and you know, the butterfly, it's not flying, but the wings are out, okay? So you're expanding. This is about expanding as well, okay? This could end, and it's talking about family changes. If this is not about career, it is, has to do with family changes, okay? But family's got involved in this big time is what I'm seeing, okay? So it's not just, it, it's like something, whatever it is that you've got going on here, um, family dynamics could be changing. It could be bringing family together, but I feel it's family changes. It's just going to make, it, it brings the family closer is what I get. Okay, so this is going to go out for a very small group of Capricorn. Capricorn, I think you're probably the shortest read I have done today, but it is excellent. I couldn't ask for a better read at all. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and don't forget, get out, get out in nature and enjoy some of this weather. I will talk to you guys later. I think Aquarius is next. All right, talk to you later. Bye.